Hello and welcome back to another episode of Shapeless Skyrim. My name is Tori. My name is Tyler. Today we are going to be looking at five small tweaks to improve your Skyrim gameplay. Now, when we say small tweaks, we mm -hmm. mean... Small tweaks. For mod number one, Tori, we have a little something-something to do before we, uh, before we intro the mod. Oh, what's that? Can you guess what it is? Does it have to do with rolling the music? It does have to do with rolling the music. So, Tori, would you please roll the music? It's always exciting when we get to do that. Now, Tyler, for this mod, well, I'm sure you're already noticing it. <coughs> Move around faster. Like, just wiggle that fucking joystick. Oh, oh that's hot. Oh, that's, that's a lot of business going on there, Tyler. What's causing that? So, obviously, when you jank it like that, it won't look as good. But mod number one is improved third-person movement response from Cyan49. God, I just love, fucking love you. Gotta love them. Now, what this is going to do is your responsiveness to your left joystick, so your movement joystick, mm -hmm. is going to be much faster. It Twice does fast, come at the sacrifice of some of those. <coughs> God, oh, they tail. Really... oh, fuck me. So like I was saying, it does come a little bit at the sacrifice of some of those, like when you're in third person standard and it's got those slow transition animations to get you to like switching directions. Right. This eliminates that. So it's more like imagine like lowering the res of your graphics to get improved performance in like a shooter game this is essentially that and that's it it's a small improvement but i think it's something that uh people who play for a long time start getting annoyed with little things like that and there you go improve your third person movement and it now, is Tyler. third person it's it is third, third person, person. Same so first don't person. ask in the comments like is this first person to no <laughs> why would it be titled third person if it was also first person yeah, idiots. Dummies. Now, Tyler, you want to you wanna, uh, tweak me to mod number two? How about we give you a facelift for mod number two? Because I'm going to be honest, you are the ugliest sack of shit I have ever seen. You are just ugly as sin. Yeah, I'm a stinky little bulldog boy. Tyler, welcome to mod number two. Now, mod number two is a fix for other mods that you may have downloaded because it mm -hmm. is called wearable heads for gray face fix so to test this out we did down this isn't really a showcase but we downloaded this spongebob and patrick follower set because look at their faces boy are they tough to look at and you see this in mods all across skyrim and it's finally able to be fixed thanks to rl cool j friend of the show so basically you go to the sleeping giant inn in riverwood underneath the bar counter you're going to find a bunch of masks that are going to help cover this up they're basically face masks so let's go ahead and give one to patrick here now obviously if you read the mod description you have to have taylor's measure for it specifically and you will put them in let me give you the uh the path here clothes clothes Yarl clothes. Okay. Yarl clothes, Ulfric. Oh, look at that. Boom. Patrick, Patrick, you look like a damn dream now, don't you, pal? Look at that. Arl gets the it, it just, just worked stamp of approval because that was I mean, incredible. That, it even stayed the, pink. It even stayed pink. That is very, very impressive. All right, let's see how it works. I wonder if I can just trade something with you. Maybe you can give them any face. Maybe you can. Should we try something real nasty? Is there an Argonian option? You want to take this dead, lifeless lizard and you want to put it on my dear sweet SpongeBob. Yes. Oh, yeah. But it stayed yellow. That is, dude, that is crazy. Arl, Impressive. you are a wizard. There's those two kinds. So you saw that there's the head and then the head and face parts. The head and face parts work better because they remove the entire head of the character while the heads themselves are just like a mask, essentially, or like a hood that they put on. So you may encounter some clipping issues with just the head part. Just the head or head and face parts? Head, just to see how it works. Sure. Like how the hood kind of aspect Ooh, works. Ooh, Boise, that's a tough yep. one to look at, though, isn't it? Yep, so you can see there is some clipping, so for some people it's not compatible, for others it will. It's just a matter of using which one and finding which one works. 
Could be because he's not a Breton, but who's really to say? That's tough to look at, but I love it. It's He's a very kissable little sponge now. And, uh, oh, well, Patrick ran. Oh, he's going to go. Oh, shit. He's going to go start an ethnic cleansing, isn't he? Yeah. He, put, he, put he, don, he donned clothes. that Ulfric armor and was like, you know what? Actually, fuck the elves. Arl, you crushed it. That gets the It Just Works stamp of approval. It just from great us. Job. Um really wild how you're able to do that. So now you have a mod where you're a little bit bothered by the gray face or you have a follower you like where you're a little bit bothered by the gray face. Redownload it. Put this on them. It's going to work. He does look a little bit like uh, Jason. Not Jason. Oh, Michael Myers. Well, I think maybe to avoid the uh, horrifying realization that SpongeBob is just a boy in a mask, we should hop into mod number three. And Tyler, welcome to mod number three. Now, mod number three is another tweak that is going to make getting screenshots in Skyrim nicer. It's going to mm -hmm. make your interactions with the world feel nice, feel nicer, because this is poses, actions, and musical instruments. And this is suggested by Woofy Doggy. So thank, thank you, you Woofy Doggy. Suggestion. Yeah, so this, as you can see, we are at the Guardian Stones here, and it's a beautiful time of day, but you just come right here behind the Mage's Stone, and you're going to find three little boxes. You have Removable Ring, Test Chest, and Powers Chest. Now, as we hop into these, you'll see, and there's obviously the Readmes that you can go ahead and dig your little teeth into, but this gives you all of those poses and actions similar to when we showed off the animation rings, except for this turns them into powers, which you can just learn, and then you can have at the ready whenever you'd like to, I don't know, lay down and kick your feet or maybe play an instrument. And let me quickly explain the test thing. So the test one is different in the way that it has all the same things, except for these are potions, or I guess in this case, bottles of mead. But that's a way you can drink it, test out the animation, and if it's one you want to have like on your person at all times, then you can go ahead and get the, the power, and that way it's stored in your powers all the time, making oh, it very quick. Oh, that's a nifty way to do it, because otherwise it would kind of eat up your whole menu. Let's visit the townsfolk and... Uh show off some of our cool new poses oh sorry oh, oh, <laughs> sorry dude oh sorry I, it's not i just have covid but don't worry it's the delta variant so one thing to note about the removal rings is that it removes it actually from your inventory i thought it removed the uh, removed the, like the action but really you just have to jump and that'll break the action hey 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 you hey you i saw him at a QAnon rally hey this this fucking cop right here i saw this dude he was wearing fucking plain clothes <laughs> Hey, everyone, th it was this one. Things have just been pretty tough lately, man. <laughs> she said she was going to the gym, <laughs> but she wasn't going to the gym. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, but um, I started a band with a couple friends. I wanted to play one of our tracks for you. Just to, just to get some uh, insight on it. What do you guys think? Pretty good, huh? Yes. Be honest with me. I want to know what you think. I'd say we're like a mashup of like Bony Vair, Skrillex, you know, kind of like a. <coughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Look at him like, oh God, fuck. Now, I do want to see what lean forward is. Let's let's up the stakes, make it seem a little dangerous. Like I'm up on this high tower here. Ah, nice. Okay. Lean forward. Okay, that's nope. The fuck is this? It looks like he's like he knows the beginning of a dance move, but doesn't like he's scared to try <laughs> moonwalking, perhaps. It seems more like you see a spider and, huh. okay, we got to see what strange gesture is. How is, I don't know how it could be any more strange than lean forward. I'm sorry. Was he fucking like Obi-Wan Kenobi-ing? Like these are Hold not on. the droids you're looking for shit. I want to see what, if I walk close enough to a kid, if it looks like I'm tossling his hair. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you're tossling a kid's hair. Maybe I shouldn't be though. <laughs> hey, come here. Yep. Stop right there. Nope, 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 nope. That's a little too low. That's a little low for my liking. You can do the whole range of emotions here. We got there's all kinds of good stuff. I like these powers. I'm I'm a big fan of these powers. No, what's hey, come this way? Hey you. Hey you. I got to report your coworker. I saw him at a QAnon <laughs> hey. rally. What an overly done gesture. Like it's almost like he's stroking his chin. Like who gestures that heavily? Hold on, hold on. I want to see if I can just line this up just right. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there, we there go. it is. It is a hot one today, folks. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> All right. Um, Let's do one more, Tyler. One more. 
All right, let's serenade this, for some reason, ghost town with some music. Who doesn't love a solo drum? Good creating, shit. Creating the beat yeah. of your day. My friends all left the band, so I'm kind of like doing a solo project now. Um, I'm, I'm a bit of a multi-instrumentalist. Well, these people don't seem too interested in um, my body movements and actions, but they're wrong because that's rad, and I like that they're powers. That's a really interesting way to do it rather than rings. Yeah, it cleans up your inventory a little bit. Like, I mean, let's be real. You're not going to use the powers that much, and it's just a good time. Like, I love this. It's so simple and fun. It is. It's it's a real good time. Now, uh, let's cry about uh, it. Yeah. What do we do? Well, I mean, I guess I'll I guess I'll cry again. All right, Tyler. Let's sob our way into the final mod of the day. Not the final mod of the day. Mod number not four. Not the final mod of the day. It's the fourth mod of the day. <laughs> I'm crying because it's not over yet. Tyler, welcome to mod number four. Whoa! I just feel so small in these trees and. I guess that is mod number four. But before I say the name, Tori, um, do you want to tell the audience that we pulled a fucking prank on them and they're that all That we pulled stupid? a prank on them and they're big idiots? These aren't Oh my big god, trees. you guys are so dumb. You're you so totally stupid. You totally believed it, you stupid idiots. All of oh you, my every god. single one of you. Every single big one dorks. of you, uh, like this video if you're the dumbest person alive. Because mod number four is called mini landscapes ps4 and it makes mini landscapes now when i initially saw this mod i was like oh cool it adds small changes to the landscape and it, it took me reaching out to the mod creator on discord a couple of times before i realized oh it's miniatures yeah yeah so tori got also pranked because i got pranked tori is yeah. also the dumbest person alive i guess yeah i'm not hiding that fact everyone knows it now, these little mini landscapes are a fun little addition. Honestly, they don't they are. do anything, but no. each one has at least one hidden chest that spawns some loot. Ooh, we should try and find that. I, I mean, I like that it's it's cool. Like, It does yeah. look kind of cool to be able to just get a bird's eye view of everything and have like the little people in there. Oh, and yeah, you could plan out like a like a big heist or something. Like, I feel oh, like this is some sick. Ocean's Eleven shit. Is that it? <gasps> there it is. Sweet. Oh, that's pretty good Whoa. loot, too. Really good armor. Now, Tyler, I believe there are 26 of these little landscapes, so why don't we pick a few to go take a little peek at? Obviously, right now, we are under the Solitude Arch. That's where you find this one. But let's go uh, Let's go find a different one. So we have come to Shore Stone, and these are spread all across Skyrim, but uh, let's take a look at the one in Shore Stone here, God, right in the middle so of the good. city. They look so good. It does look. How do you so do this? Peaceful. Do you just take the whole location and then shrink it? Like, is I it literally no just a copy? It, it could be like they took a chunk of landscape and then maybe added some rocks to like give it a border or something. But I have no idea. It even has like little fallen trees in there. It's just like there's something very peaceful about it. You know what I mean? I oh, there was a chest. Oh, I where? found it right here. Oh yeah, 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 right there. And why is there just a boy, not a man? A, a boy, boy who's like, yeah. ah, I found it. Now dad will love me. These are peaceful. I really like. These I know. Things. I just I, I really like. I mean, we've seen these versions in like houses before, but, but just like not, out in the landscape. That's, it's it's almost like, hey, Tyler, that's where the leprechauns live. So there's another one in Winterhold right here. If you go next Ooh. to the bridge and this one's got Ooh. a little bit of a little bit of mysticism to it. That one's got some spice. That one goes way far down. Holy shit. That's a good one. It's, it, they're oh, just, wow. they're peaceful. There's something peaceful about just like looking. I think I understand model making now. I, I was I just going to say, is this why people are into like trains? You know, like the people that have train tracks going around their house? You know what, Tyler? Maybe maybe we finally understand. Uh, we understand train boys. We get it May now. I, I think I get it. I think I, think I, I understand. Get... Oh, there's the chest. There it is. Nope, that's not the one. That's just A1. No, it's locked up. Oh, hell. This is cool. I like that this one has, like, a lot of the glowing lights and stuff. It, it really adds to it. I don't think I've dogged on miniature, like, builders <laughs> in the past. Enthusiasts, but yeah. If, like, 
I've also said a lot of shit in this show that I don't remember. So if I ever dogged on you in the past, I'll take that back. I'm sorry. Furries, no. We're still enemies. I'll never I'll never not dog on you. No, I don't want to word it like that because y'all might <laughs> like the word dog on you. You fucking Look, weirdos. Not to get off too much on a tangent, but it is funny to me when we get comments on an episode from like three years ago and they like reference something we said and I'll just like, Leave a thumbs up on the comment because, look, bro, I don't remember what I said last week. Yeah, these are pretty cool, and there is plenty of them to go find and just, uh, just yeah, just discover and, and have a peaceful time walking through maybe a little bit of a struggle when there's this many trees, but it's fantastic. Yeah. You're kind of ruining them. You're, like, stomping all over them. No, no, I you can't just cry to, ra- I you can't the cry to random women. I'm like Lenny. i sorry I crushed a rabbit. Let's follow the North Star of Big Guard and lead us into the final mod of the day. Guide us, Big Guard. Uh oh. T- oh no, oh, Big fuck. Guard's gone. Be glad you're here in the city. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Did he go to the gym too? Now, Tyler, tell me about this final mod. The final mod of the day, another tweak for you, is White Run Sewer Home. Now, this is a good starter home for you. You know how, like, your parents tell you, get a starter home, you mm, know? It mm-hmm. doesn't have to be the biggest home. This is like that. So yeah. it's a very basic starter home, and you get to live in the sewer, like the little disgusting rat that you are. Let's hop in. Now inside, Tyler, let's call a spade a spade. It's modest. It's a lot nicer than it should be. It's, it's well, they've got, like, some nice hanging vines and stuff like that, add a little greenery, Nice little cooking area there, but I mean, this is a uh, look. It's a studio apartment. Yeah, like honestly, a twenty-eight-year-old woman who just got broken up with by her boyfriend of five years would mm-hmm. move into this place and play and pay top dollar. And I- I'm going to tell you, there'd be a lot of like rediscovering yourself posts made in here. Right, might not be the nicest place, but you'll have fond memories forever because of how you really discovered who you were and what makes you happy in this apartment could use a clapper that's always fun like a like a light clapper like the clap on clap off yeah the very same Mm -hmm. oh you see the the uh the modern day uh age has ruined my mind where now when i think clapper i don't think the lights what do you think i think a big fat ass (laughs) damn Damn, babe you got a clapper. clapper Damn, oh, you well, walk and there's a fucking round of applause. Ka-dunk, ka-dunk, ka-dunk. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Well, Tyler, that's kind of it. It's uh the, the, it's the modest. small tweak. It's a is good that- home for you to live in the sewer like a little fucking Shrek monster that you are. Yeah, a gross little a gross little sl- you look like you're basically this is where the Mucinex guy lives. <laughs> a little goober. Yeah, yeah, this is this is a place for you if you're a stinky little monster and you don't mind living in the sewers and when you crawl out of your rat hole, everyone says you stink. What a, I actually really liked that house. I, w- I was a big fan. It's a nice starter home where you come to the city, you don't have any money, you don't know your own backstory. You were picked up in a caravan along with some thieves. Well, Tyler, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> well, well well because it was in a well (laughs) oh that wasn't that funny well look if you have better jokes to send me if you just want to do some some rewrites some punch-ups quick and send me some better jokes or send me mod recommendations you can do so on twitter you can find me at lurking lion i will be at subtly cool but keep your joke suggestions to yourself i think i'm doing just fine i don't really care what you have to say great what a nice guy (laughs) People are going to listen to this and be like, wow, that Tyler Matheson seems like a real stand-up fellow. <laughs> He's an asshole. This guy <laughs> dude fucking sucks. sucks. I'll be honest. This dude sucks shit. The good news is if you want to like test your, like, dip your toe in the water of Tyler's assholery, you can get the gross. You can go ahead and do that on our <laughs> Discord. We have a Discord. You can find the link below in the description as always. And uh, hop in there. You have a place for mod suggestions. You have a place for podcast suggestions. Tyler, why would they suggest something for a podcast? Well, because if you want to hear us be funnier than you about something, we put out a podcast every single Friday. It's called Basis I don't even want to fucking talk to you anymore, you dick. 
<laughs> it goes up every Friday. It's a casual conversational comedy Tyler's podcast. Tyler's being so mean. I'm not a nice person. You don't want to see me in public. I'll oh, punch you, and I'll punch your grandma. If you're with your grandma, keep her away from me. Oh, boy. she's <laughs> Hands will be thrown on that day. That's not something you want to see. So I guess keep your grandma away and keep your eyes peeled next Tuesday for more Shapeless Skyrim. We will see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Go watch the podcast on Friday. And seriously, keep, keep your grandma away. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. It feels good. It feels good. It, everything's fine. Uh, what if my dick was in a cage, though?